guys, welcome to another video, another set of questions where I want you to revise few concepts with me. Today, the concepts that I'm revising using set theory, I'm, I want to revise uh, with these two questions, couple of questions that I have for you. I want to you guys to revise number systems. Okay, which of the sets is non-empty? So the sets that I have given to you, number one, A is the set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2. Okay. B is the set of all x's such that x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x is a natural number. Okay. C is the set of even prime numbers and D is the set of all x's which are lying between 1 and 2 where x is a natural number. We have to tell which is non-empty. Which of these is non-empty? Non-empty ka matlab kya hai? Ki usme at least ek element to ho. Okay? So, an empty set is denoted by phi. Empty set. Which has no elements in it. Okay? To ek element to ho. Chale, pehla jo set hai. It's the set of all odd numbers. Divisible by 2. Can there be any odd number divisible by 2? In fact, how we denote <coughs> even numbers is we denote any natural, any number, any integer divisible by 2 is actually an even integer. Okay, is an even number, even integer. Now, an odd natural number, set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 there won't be anything in this set. So A is actually phi. Let's talk about B. B is a set of all x's such that x plus 5 is equal to 0. x plus 5 is equal to 0. This can only happen when f x is equal to minus 5 and simultaneously we want x to be a natural number. Natural numbers Start with 1, 2, 3. Natural numbers, set of natural numbers is associated to countability. So counting start like 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's what is a set of natural numbers. Okay. So this is not a natural number. It's a negative integer. This set is not possible. This set is phi. Okay. Set C is the set of even prime numbers. Set of even prime numbers. Do we have any prime number which is even? The first thing that should probably come to your mind is 2. 2 is an even prime number. This is an even number and it is also prime. So 2 is that number which will definitely be in this, in this set, right? In fact, that's the only one. So 2 is an even number, which is also prime. So C actually is a set that contains 2, which is not phi. So this set, my, my dear friends, we will call this non-empty. This set will be called non-empty. And if you observe D, D is talking about all the natural numbers that you can find between 1 and 2. Can you find any natural number between 1 and 2, excluding 1 and 2? No. So that's fine. So that was a quick brush up on different type of numbers and looking at the, you know, notation of sets. Okay. Another question for your revision. Which of the following sets is finite? So this time we are talking about finite set. Okay. I is the set of all x's which are integers and such that they are also satisfying that x square minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. It's satisfying this quadratic equation. Okay. Now b is the set of natural numbers which are divisible by 2. That means uh, even natural numbers basically. c is the set of lines passing through a point. d is the set of x integers. Uh, strictly greater than minus 5. We want to talk about finite. Finite sets. So you need to know what are finite sets, what are infinite sets. 
So finite sets are where you can, you know, count the elements in it. They are finite. And count the elements with a finiteness. That is, there is a boundedness. There is a certain finite number that you can see that this is this set is not going beyond that. Okay. So you can count the numbers and there is a fi finiteness in your counting. Counting like natural numbers, it could be infinitely. Uh, it can keep on moving to infinity, but still you're able to count. So that's called countably infinite. But we are here looking for finite set. So that means countably finite set. So you should be able to count and that to finite number of entries there. So the first one is X should be integer and it should satisfy X square minus 2 minus 2X minus 3 equals to 0. So this is a quadratic. If we try to, let's try to factor it out. So it's going to be x square minus 3x plus x minus 3 equals to 0. So this will give me x into x minus 3 x uh, plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to 0. So that means I have two factors x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to 0. So that means x is equal to minus 1 and 3. Okay. So these are both integers. So i, the set i is actually, it contains just these two entries that is minus 1 and 3. So from here itself, we get our answer. But I would like to you know, look into the other sets as well for our clarity. So B is the set of natural numbers which are divisible by 2. So the set of natural numbers that are divisible by 2 are all even numbers, even natural numbers. Do you think the count ever ends? The count never ends, you know, natural numbers. You have infinite natural numbers. Hence, you have infinitely many even natural numbers. So this set is which starts with 2, 4, 6, so on and so forth. It keeps on going. So this is infinite, okay? This is finite. C is the set of lines passing through a point. So if say you have any, any particular point, not line, let's take any particular point. You can yourself see that there could be infinitely many lines passing through this point. Infinitely many points, infinitely many lines. Can pass through this point, say, x comma y, right? So this is an infinite set. D is the set of all natural numbers and uh, set of all integers, sorry, greater than minus 5. So D is, the set D is the set of all, we would say, minus, it, it's bigger than minus, strictly greater than minus 5. So it is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, so on and so forth. It will keep on going. It's infinitely many number of points in there. So infinite set. So the correct answer is, of course, A, which is a finite set. And in the previous one, the correct answer was option C, which was non-empty. That set was non-empty. I hope with this you will be able to brush up on your natural, uh, on, on, on your number theory, all kind of numbers. You should actually go back and read about it. Thank you very much. I hope this will help.